everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'd like to welcome you into another episode of The Simple Truth. I want to share with you my excitement and my just thorough joy from having had the opportunity to be at Straightway with uh, the Saints of the Most High Yah, as well as Pastor Dow and all of the Straightway family for Passover, Peshka, not Easter, no Christian uh, pagan celebration here, but Passover as well as the Feast of Unleavened Bread, a portion of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Had the opportunity to go down to Straightway with my road warrior, my brother, Brother Vernon, and we went a few days early, had a great time. But I want to make it very, very clear. We worked and worked very hard on the land with the saints that live at Straightway. And the thing that touches me the most is the fact that having the opportunity to put your hand to the plows, so to speak, it gives you an indicator, a gauge, a barometer, so to speak, as to where you are mentally as well as physically and in most importantly spiritually when it comes to community living. I have to be the first one to admit that I wasn't as in shape physically as I thought I was. However, my desire was to do whatever was asked of me and whatever was required of me and to do it to the best of my ability. I made a comment that I would work until I fell out because I'm, I was that dedicated and that committed. Although that might not be uh, that productive, but that's exactly where my spirit and my heart was. And I took from this trip something very, very important. Pastor Dow has a tendency to uh, speak with the saints when it comes to uh, mealtime. And when he, when he speaks to the saints, at mealtime, he talks about many of the issues of the day. He may, uh, there may be some reproving, there may be some rebuking, some correction, but there's always wisdom and knowledge that comes with it. And the one thing yesterday morning that he spoke about before we departed uh, at the breakfast uh, dining hall, um, I, as we like to say it, teaching, as Pastor Dow was talking about the will and how in some cases with some people, people's will is very, very hard to bend and to shape and to mold. And it is very important that we take a very strong look at each and every one of us in the mirror and ask ourselves the question, are we malleable? Are we teachable? Do we have a humble spirit that we can be led to do whatever is required of us and whatever is necessary if times, not if, when times get to the point where we have to be together and not just for a joyful one-time event, but we have to be together, work together, and protect each other. I had to, I had to face that and look at myself when, I, when that question was asked of me. And I, I look at it that it is my heart's desire to bend my will and to do what is necessary, but I need to continue to be a work in progress, continue to move forward, to strive for perfection, and, and to desire more and more to be in that place. As I always tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. And the simple truth of the whole matter is that there's a lot of work that is yet to be done on this vessel, but I am willing to do the work, put in the time, put in the effort, and take whatever comes as far as the Most High Yah will have me to do. And I just pray that I am obedient enough to do it to the best of my ability for Him. I want to thank you for joining me on this Simple Truth episode, and I'll see you, I'll see you, and I'll see you again real soon on another episode. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day.